Welcome to the Morning Update Show. I'm your host, Trey Holiday, and we do have a lot to get into today. Clearly, there's been a lot of updates throughout the morning. You guys have seen our guy, Big O, live streaming this morning. Let's throw it right on over to him. Lots of going on today, Big O. How are you? I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, <laughs> we've been out here since about 4, four o'clock this morning. And I'm sure the whole city is aware right now is that the Seattle Police Department uh, did take action this morning on the East Precinct, and they have reclaimed the East Precinct. And actually, uh, with, within the last few hours, we've seen it here, uh, the, the presence of CHOP is rapidly disappearing. They even got painters over there painting, painting the building. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a lot of news and information today. But the big story is, like I said, is that the, the, the chop has been cleared out. There's also a very wide perimeter that the police have placed in what they call the, the Cal Anderson Park area. Um, the mayor put out an emergency order or proclamation or whatever. I'm sure somebody has the exact terminology. But basically keeping this buffer zone in place for up to 10 days. And, uh, you know, it, it, it all went down early this morning uh, around 5 a.m. We got a lot of chatter hearing that, uh, that something was going to happen last night. I mean, it was like overwhelming. It was coming from so many different places. People were saying that, that there was going to be a, a, a movement movement here by, by SPD this morning. And just like, you know. Like I said, 5 a.m., man, they, they moved into place. They moved in and swooped in. I mean, at the end of the day, we were talking about it yesterday and reporting on it that we knew something may go down. They were already taking out the, the art, um, removing the boards from all of these center blocks. And so we knew there was going to be some movement. And I think that in the in, in just looking at the past, I think a lot of protesters and people that have been saying, like, look, it's going to happen at an hour we're not sure of, I think 5 a.m. kind of fits that mold, right? Right there as well yeah I mean it's never been a question of if it's always been a question of when yeah you know what I'm saying and how it would happen what I could say is this of what we witnessed is that uh, the Seattle Police Department got very little resistance you know what I'm saying very very little resistance and um, you know within 15 minutes they, they actually swept it out and uh, Daryl do, do you have that that actual clip do you have the clip of the push out so what we'll do right here, because, you know, we we're supposed to have, uh, not even supposed to, we got Marcus Harrison Green 
He always likes us to say all three names. <laughs> Publisher of the South Seattle Emerald, he's here as well. So what we'll do is we're going to go to this uh, clip this morning uh, that we captured of some of the push out. We're going to play that. We're going to jump into to Marcus. He's going to tell us what's going on at City Hall, and then we'll go back to our coverage. So we want to make sure and get Marcus in. He's on a tight timeline. If you could play the clip this morning from this uh, from this morning. You can see them on they the bike. It was the back. emergency order at 2 a.m. Is it 2 a.m.? There's an order. Now, we, we also we, we have pretty good information that the state police are out here as well. And uh, that, that they, it was a call in on state police. We got from Washington State Patrol. So we see the Seattle police right here. We also see what's out here on the street right now it is the, 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 the tear gas launcher. It's right there. That's the tear gas launcher. This is equipment that we haven't seen here in a while. To be honest with you, it looks like a commander coming up here up front. We're going to move over here to the side. We're going we're gonna to move over here. We don't definitely don't want to be in a direct line of sight uh, here at the Seattle police. What the police are saying is they're giving instruction for people to move southbound on southbound. Yes. A helmet. Fuck, man, I don't ever have enough gear. You want my back? No, I don't want your back. All right, well, welcome back. Morning update, sir. That seems like it's a very long clip that they got over there, so we're, we're going to go back to it here in a second. Um, but it's, it's part of part of the actual push out, and actually right by, right over here behind us, uh, we, got a sh we got a shot of You got the iPhone? What, what, are, you, what are you pointing at? It, something's looking real... You got to tell us what to do, guys. You got so many of you there. I mean, when you jump around like that, I, I don't know what to, what to expect. Are we okay? Can I proceed? Fantastic. Let me let me do that. It's <laughs> got a lot going on. They're actually moving the, the, the blocks behind us as well. Marcus, <laughs> you made it, first of all. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's like Escape from Capitol Hill out here today. As it you is know. Escape from <laughs> Capitol Hill, huh? So tell us, you're, you're, we, we called you yesterday to update us on everything that was going on in City Hall between uh, Durkin and, and Sawan and some of the other stuff at City Hall. In regards to what's happening here right now, right. those are still very real things. Maybe you can tell us what occurred, uh, what's going on down there between Sawan and Durkin and anything else yeah. down at City Hall. I, I, know, I know that's dropped to the secondary story at this point, but right. that being said, yeah, I mean, historically, uh, council member Shama Sawan, and, who, you know, who represents District 3, which is Central District, as well as uh, some of the, you know, C the CID as well. She has always, you know, her and Durkin have always had a, a bit of acrimony, you know, towards each other. And that thing, you know, went from heated to, to nuclear in the span of, of about 24 hours. Uh, council member Sawant led a march on uh, Mayor Durkin's ha home. To on her house, Sunday, huh? yeah, it to was the crib. <laughs> right. It was to defund the police. Now Mayor Durkin didn't take too kindly to that, and the very next day, which was Monday, she came out with a strongly worded request to uh, Council President Lorena Gonzalez to essentially get uh, Sawan expelled. So right now you got someone who's saying that uh, Durkin needs to resign, uh, be impeached. And then you got Durkin who's saying that Sawan needs to be expelled and, and kicked out. So, I mean, I, I don't know if this is, you know, modern day Seattle or it's ancient Rome and who's Mark Anthony and who's Caesar Augustus, but they beefing and, and it's drama and it's probably no end in sight, unfortunately. Yeah, un unfortunately. And right, right behind us, I don't know if they still have a camera over there. I, I think they might have moved it. But right behind us, if you, you can you go to that camera, Daryl? So we, we, we see the, the blocks. The, the ecology blocks that have been here um, that kind of define part of the chop, they're actually being moved right behind us. So that's why we're speaking up. So, yeah. um, bro, it, it seems that, like like you said, this issue with, with Sawan and Durkin continues right. to throw, and maybe they're deflecting <laughs> off of each other. It, as, it's asking as, all turns at this as, point. Yeah. As, as neither of them, <laughs> nobody's happy with either of them, uh, you know what I'm saying, in, in some certain circles here. You know right. what I'm saying? I mean, Durkin definitely has her detractors, and so does Sawan. Uh, any words of leadership out of either of them? You know, I mean, that's that's a good question, man. I mean, I think at this point, other than sort of the, the back and forth, I, you know, there, there hasn't really been 
at, at least at this point. I mean, and, and they could have just tweeted something out. I don't know, since we are live. But, uh, you know, so far, uh, I'll <laughs> as you check right now, <laughs> so far, I, you know, I can't say that there's ne necessarily been strong pro proclamations of leadership, if you will, at this point. What do you think? Um, I mean, because the chop is uh, a symptom mm. of, a, of a problem that's the, clearly here in the city. What right. Do you, what do you think our city needs right now? I mean, our city needs a lot right now, but I mean, I think right now, uh, specifically, I mean, we need some vision and some direction of, okay, what do we actually want this city to be? What does this look like? We talk about unity. We talk about equity. What does that look like in practice, though, right? Mm. And how do we get there, right? There is no such thing as utopia, and there never will be, but what does better look like for the city in the sense that it serves everybody in, in, you know, in terms of their basic needs and equitably, and everybody you know, feels safe, everybody feels a part of this fabric of the city. What does that look like? Right. And I, I think that clear vision needs to be met, and then also steps on how do we get there. Right, right. Um, now, the South Seattle Emerald, for a lot of people who might not have caught you around, you're on here a few weeks ago, maybe, and we got a much bigger audience now, maybe you <laughs> can tell people a little bit about the South Seattle Emerald, your publication, and uh, what you got going on over there, and all that good stuff. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the segue. It was a... Uh, uh, created the Emerald six years ago to essentially amplify the voices and stories that weren't being amplified and told, uh, you know, from the South End and, and now from, you know, other margin, marginalized communities in this region. Um, I was tired of growing up in, in the city and only people only talking about the South End or the CD in the context of it was, you know, basketball and, you know, a Garfield High or Rainier Beach. Our Bulldogs. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with talking about Garfield High. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with the Vikings either, but, you know, RB all the way. Do Anyhow, do. though, uh, <laughs> nah, our, our, urban, our people would talk about urban blight or crime, but always missing, always missing for the most part was the actual stories of resilience and community and and innovation that was going on in our communities. And so for us, we want to draw a light on that. They say, you know, Plato said it best, you know, storytellers rule the world. I say storytellers liberate the world, right? You know, what you, yeah, so what we, you know, what you see every day, what stories are told every day, those are the things that, that are important. Those are the things that construct our beliefs and beliefs have consequences. How do people reach the South Seattle Emerald? I'm, I'm glad you asked. They can log on at, uh, they can jump on our, our URL at seattleemerald.org. SeattleEmerald.org. Yeah. And now, uh, before I let you go, what what stories are, are you personally, or, or some of your your editors over there, chasing down that that you'll be reporting back to us on here? Very well, soon? I'll just say, you know, look out for some investigative reports we got on, you know, going into City Hall and SPD. I can't say anything else Damn. about that. <laughs> All right. And um, I'll just let that be that. All right, we'll <laughs> let that be that. Marcus Harrison Green. He always likes when we say his full name. My, my parents gave me two of the three, so they, they always want you know want us to say it. So I All appreciate right. that. Publisher <laughs> of the South Seattle Emerald, thanks for joining us. We're gonna take a quick break right now. When we come back, we're gonna jump back into the 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 footage from this morning when the SPD started to move the protesters out. You are watching the morning update show.
Well, well, welcome back to the Morning Update show. Uh, you guys you guys know we have a lot to get into. We want to get back to that clip showing you guys how it went down this morning. Uh, Big O, it was a lot going on. They had to clear the streets. So we're going to go right to it, yeah? Yeah, no, no. I mean, it, it, <laughs> we, it happened live, and it's still on the stream. Right on. You can see them on they the bike from the back. Kind of emergency order at 2 a.m. There's a 2 a.m. There's an order. Now, we, we also, we, we have pretty good information that the state police are out here as well. And uh, that, that they, it was a call in on state police. We got from Washington State Patrol. So we see the Seattle police right here. We also see what's out here on the street right now it is the, 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 the tear gas launcher. Is right there. That's the tear gas launcher. This is equipment that we haven't seen here in a while. To be honest with you, it looks like a commander coming up here up front. We're gonna move over here to the side. We're gonna we're gonna move over here. We don't definitely don't want to be in a direct line of sight uh, here at the Seattle Police. What the police are saying is they're giving instruction for people to move southbound on southbound. Yes, a helmet. Fuck, man, I don't ever have enough gear. On my back? No, I don't want your back. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter, too. So, um, what, what we're saying here is it looks like the Seattle Police Department is going to move. There goes the rubber bullets. Right there. There go the rubber bullets right there. We've also, we've got tactics. Hold on, be quiet. I want to hear the second thing. Shh. Be quiet. Did he say what the order was at 2 a.m.? I know he said 12 p.m. yesterday was Cal Anderson. He said there was another order at 2 a.m. this morning. The mayor issued an order at 2 a.m. So, no, no, no. So, man, let, man, let these guys work their job. This isn't an expression. It depends if they consider this an expression of civil rights or, or whatever it is. So basically, what what the officers are saying is that Mayor Durkin, Mayor Durkin issued an order at 2 a.m. to be able to clear. I don't know. Uh, at, at at 2 a.m. Uh, 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 Alia, there we go. She's she's right there. Um, Where's where's the rest of our team at? Bro, you can't have it both ways. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. Don't get us fucked up. Don't get us fucked up. I know. Okay. And, and we have, and so the order came at 2 a.m. It was a 2 a.m. order is when, when, when they're saying that the mayor gave an order at 2 a.m. We, we see SPD is giving instruction. SPD is giving instruction for people to move southbound on Pike. Let me just... You're going to get the gas mask? Okay, cool. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, of course. Of course, everybody's surrounded. Here we go. Now, now this is. We, we see the bike officers are now moving off the bicycles. They're now moving off the bicycles. And now here it goes. Move back. We know. Let's go backwards position. They're in the move back position. They're in the move back. We've seen this before. We're in the move back now. I'm all, okay. The, the police are in a posture now to move back. They're, they're, they're through the northern barricade. They've assembled their line now on the northern, the northern barricade. The SWAT vehicle behind them. The bicycle 
officers are going back. Now, what we're going to see probably happen right here is the bicycle officers are going to come and the bicycle officers are going to form their own barricade with the bikes. We're going to see the bicycle officers form their own barricades with the bike. They're going to use a posture. Uh, they're going to use a posture called move back, move back with the bikes. Now, what, what, what I'm anticipating, we'll see here. But this is this is funky. We th this area is it, it's surrounded. It's surrounded by all sides. I don't know that we might be one of the only live cameras that are in here right now inside of the chop. So we, we've got SPD right there. And now they're, they're tearing through the barricade. They're tearing through the barricade right there. Police are right here. Okay. They've got a SWAT vehicle right there. And we're going to stick to the wall right here. We're going we're gonna to kind of stick to the wall. The, the pepper spray is getting ready to come. Officers. They're pushing them to Pike. Now, they're saying that Mayor Durkin put an emergency order in at 2 a.m. Now, here's the thing is, is we we got information. We got information yesterday, but we couldn't confirm it. We got information from dispatch. They're not allowing us to exit this way. Okay. We have to exit through 12. All right, and, and, and we will. We'll exit through 12. Let's get over here on the wall. We're just over here on the wall. Yep, 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 right here. There we go. He got hit. He got hit with a rubber bullet. He's been hit with a rubber bullet right there. Press, press. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Now the police are gonna form a police line right here. The the, the bikes. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're forming their line and they're doing a technique called move back. We're, we're gonna s calm down, calm down. They're gonna, it's a, it's a call, technique called here, it's called move back. It's called, it's called move back. They're, they're, they're getting ready to push it back. And we've seen this before. They're gonna use the bicycles now. They're gonna use the bicycles. They're gonna, yep, I'm moving, sir. I'm moving, sir. They're gonna use the bicycles. The bicycles are gonna push forward. The posture is called, it's to move back. We see the rubber bullets are out here. We see, uh, we, 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 we see it's, uh, it's some kind of explosive out here. I'm going to tell you, everybody, it's hot and heavy. You know what I'm saying? We're now to actually surrounded. So if we wanted to leave right now, we really can't. We can push back into 12th Avenue. We're going to follow. We're going to follow the police instruction here. It looks like we're going to get swept out. There is something in the air. It's not strong, but there's something. Do you smell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can smell it already. There's, some, there's something that's in the air here. They're giving instruction for people to move the area. Our understanding, if anybody is talking to City Hall, City Hall at 2 a.m. this morning, the police are saying at 2 o'clock this morning that Mayor Durkin signed an order at 2 a.m. for the emergency removal of this space here. Hey, bro, get away from him. Get get away from this guy. We're going. Get 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 get, 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 get away. It's all right. It's, it's all right. People know we don't have any ill intent. We're here as the media. We've been here for 30 days. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, it's, it's okay, Bobby. Just calm down. Stop. Stop talking. Stop. Stop. Bobby, it's all right. We're here. But people, they... they well, as we can see, there was a lot of activity this morning, and it seems to be continuing throughout the day. Oh, it looks like they're going to have a lot of work to do in terms of just cl clearing up the area. A lot well, has already been done. Uh, well, I'll be honest with you. So that, the whole, first of all, that whole pushback right there, we just played the, the first few minutes of it, but that whole pushback is there um, this morning. I mean, the whole thing from when they started walking from beginning to end, maybe 15 minutes. Um, Three yeah. minutes at the most of as they walk through that the the, uh, the chop and clearing people in the chop, and as far as cleanup goes, I mean, now yeah, I just just uh, took a picture over there. The East Precinct is they've almost painted over all the graffiti. Um, mm. The the barricades are gone out the middle of the street. We're, we're waiting to see if they're going to bring in a new sign that says Seattle Police Department, and if they're going to if they're going to put that up there. And I mean, otherwise, you know, I, I was thinking about an hour or two. Um, outside of some of the, the spray paint that's on the cement, 
you'd be hard pressed uh, to to know that something happened here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, clearly there is a, a big rush to make sure that this area uh, got back to normalcy. Uh, that's what it looks like. The city, you know, and the mayor's office giving that order. Um, I, I heard on the clip there, you know, saying that she gave the order at 2 a.m. to do this, and then everything kind of just popped off around 5 a.m. So a lot of things really happening early, early this morning. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like, so we got four to match it this over. It's a statement by Attorney General William P. Barr on the restoration of law and order in Seattle. So Attorney General Barr has issued the following statement. I commend poli uh, Police Chief Carmen Best for her courage and leadership in restoring the rule of law in Seattle. For the past several weeks, the Capitol Hill area of Seattle was occupied by protesters who denied access to the police and other law enforcement personnel. Unsurprisingly, the area became a haven for violent crime, including shootings that claimed the lives of two young people, assaults and robberies. As Chief Best made clear throughout the process, there's a fundamental distinction between discussion of substantive issues, including addressing distrust of law enforcement by many in the African-American community and violent defiance of the law. Chief Best has rightly committed to continue the substantive discussion while ending the violence, which threatens innocent people and undermines the very rule of law that the protesters profess to defend. Thanks to the Seattle Police Department, Capitol Hill Parks, streets and businesses oh, thanks to the seattle police department capitol hill parks streets and businesses are again accessible to the people of seattle who may travel throughout their city without fear of violence the people of seattle should be grateful to chief best and her department for the professional and steadfast defense of rule of law the message of today's action is simple but significant the constitution protects the right to speak and assemble freely but it provides no right to commit violence or defy the law and such conduct has no place in a free and governed society and that's a statement from the u.s attorney general William P. Barr on the restoration of law and order in Seattle. Wow, I mean, that's a lot he said there, clearly. I mean, but I, what I one thing I did hear, um, you know, is giving Chief Best, um, you know, some props for ending the violence yet continuing the discussions that led to the unrest. And I, I do think that that's kind of what is needed right now because you cannot just go back to the way it was. So, I, you know, I, I thank Carmen Best for at least being willing to listen listen to the people and be trying to make some type of amendments with the people. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> something else that happened here. So we have footage right there when I was I was in the, uh, the that pushback there. And I didn't even realize how many times I said, move back, right. move back. I mean, it's like it's it's ingrained. I, I'll tell you quickly, yesterday they were <clears throat> they were actually editing. I was taking a nap. They were editing some footage. And, uh, you know, I, the speaker was up, I guess, loud enough for me to hear it, even though I was asleep. And, and on the footage, they're like, this is Captain so-and-so from the Seattle Police Department. You have whatever, whatever, you know, the warnings they give right. the protesters who are covering it. And, man, the first thing I did is I woke right up. And I'm like, man, what's going on? What's going on? You know, it's, it's, it's ingrained in the head, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? As many times as we've uh, we've seen it. So another thing that, that, that happened uh, as well as the, the, the movement of the CHOP protesters was over there in Cal Anderson Park on the play field and on the grassy field. And we put up Air Converge. We, we, we put the we put the drone uh, in the in the sky earlier when uh, when there was activity in the park, when the, the police were moving to the park. And so we have uh, some of our air converged <laughs> drone footage uh, we'll go to right now. Awesome.
And you see right there, that's the aerial view when, when the, the drone was in the air as uh, the officers entered the park over there, Cal Anderson Park, into the tented, to the homeless area. Uh, we went over there, tried to tried to uh, get some shots of that. Um, Sergeant Zur, who's actually the head of the navigator team for the Seattle Police Department, though, uh, wouldn't allow us uh, the camera entry into that area of the park. But, you know, for everything that we, we understand is that that area is now clear. It was it was clear not too long after um, 12th Avenue was cleared. Yeah, yeah. Even when I came in this morning, uh, literally, I was like, wow, the park is clear. I mean, all of the tents, all of the things that I saw out there, people uh, staying out there, people making it kind of their home, all of that is gone. I, you know, it's funny because you hear these, uh, as soon as I woke up, I'm like, oh, man, I guess people sending me the, the articles. I'm seeing it all. Okay, I'm like, okay, this is going on. So I knew that conversion Birds was on the scene getting some footage, man, this morning. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what we're here for. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, we made a commitment on day one. I be, I didn't think it was going <laughs> to last this long, and True. it's clearly not over. It's just behind us, two blocks behind us there on Broadway and Pine. Protesters have, uh, have been protesting there for a while. We see that the, the, the number of police kind of, you know, they go up and down. But, I mean, w one thing is is that Mayor Durkin has created a very wide parameter ar around around uh, the East Precinct and what she is calling the uh, Cal Anderson Park area or Cal Anderson Park zone, which also creates uh, lots of intersections, uh, and actual street intersections that the police need to defend, um, yeah. especially now, you know, if the, protest the police are back, the protesters are back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't think anybody should probably fool themselves into thinking that the chop has been pushed out and now the protests in Seattle are, 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 are over with. I mean, we keep talking about the transference of energy. It just goes from one thing to another here um, and, until there's some kind of resolution. And so what we what we do see up here is, you know, the East Precinct is it's just getting a facelift right now. It's getting paint. The, um, the ecology blocks are gone. The police have put their own barricade up in front of the precinct ar around the curb area right there. I don't know. There might be a barricade to prevent against cars. It's not that high, but it is a barricaded area that, that's right over there in, in front of the precinct. And for the protesters, a lot of protesters who might have left the chop because of violence and things like that, and at point, some days it numbered in the thousands, now that the police are back, and also now the police are spread across multiple lines here, um, the, the protesters very we might see them again surrounded out here um, on Pike and Broadway. So well, yeah, it's 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 still a developing story. So you know it's not even one of those things where ah, it's, it's it's over with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now the protesters are saying the protests continue and they're they're protesting two blocks behind us. Well, I mean at the end of the day, you know the protesters have have you know uh, something that made them come out. I've been talking about it, right? It's just that thing alone, there's no fixing that very quickly, right? And so when we talk about the inequalities of this country, you know, what brought people out here and what sparked the civil unrest, you know, not only George Floyd's death, but just the litany of black folks who have died at the hands of police. So I think you're right on that, oh, that, you know, no one should be thinking, hey, this is going to subside all of that energy. Right. And, you know, there, there's a, as as the, the, the chops, the footprint of the chop literally disappears in front of our eyes. Uh, you know, right up there, we're, we're looking. Uh, East Precinct is about 65 feet from us. Um, there's a lot of other things that came out uh, come out of this. And, I mean, we'll have another show to talk about all of that. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, the other thing is two black lives were lost here yeah as well Seriously. i mean and, and you know mo multiple shootings and and some of everything else also on the flip side though you know on the on the, the 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 peaceful protest thing there's a lot of other things that came out of here as well i think people are going to be debating for a long long time as to you know what was i could see it being in class there at seattle yeah. seattle central college yeah. which is about two blocks from us um, we're just going to take a short break right now. When we come back, we have a few programming notes. We're actually going to cut the show uh, early because there's breaking news all around us. Yeah. Um, and and we, we need a, a little bit here to get it all together and, and see what's going on up there on Broadway. You are watching the Morning Update Show.
back to the morning update show. We're going to get ready to get out of here. Uh, a few programming notes. Of course, we're back here tomorrow at, uh, at a, we're hoping our usual time. I know guys had a tough time getting in here this morning uh, and into the zone, but this is this is where we work. So, you know what I'm saying? we got to be uh, allowed in and to work. And I got a feeling that the editors are going to have a lot of clips from the last two weeks. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, of what was going on here. We we'll also want to be able to ha have some talks about uh, analysis of moving forward of what's, you know, what's going on. We did talk to Police Chief Best earlier. Um, we, we bumped into her. All right. My understanding is that the mayor and the police chief are going to have a press conference at 2.30. We might carry that live here on, our, on the stream um, and, and see what we can do for that. Uh, clearly, uh, continuous ongoing coverage. We're, we're going to take a break here after this, and then we'll um, probably continue down there. And I think Eric, is Eric Stream still live? So also on our Converge page, Eric Calligraphy, if you if you scroll down when we get off here, don't cut us off right now. <laughs> when we get off right here, you scroll down, you'll see that Eric is live on the Converge page as well. He's just two blocks away on Broadway where protesters are facing off with police right there. Wow, so much activity. Oh, I know there's going to be some updates, and I'm sure tomorrow you and I will be able to get into all that really unfolded here today. Yep. Well, that's it for us today. I want to thank our guest, Marcus Harrison Green, uh, publisher of the South Seattle Emerald. We didn't have enough time to go as deep as we wanted to because of today's events. But, you know, we'll be seeing a lot more of Marcus and, of course, of the Emerald. Absolutely. Shout out to South Seattle Emerald, man. They, he's been doing it for a long time over there. It's great. It's great to see all this media coming from the community. Fantastic. Well, we're already standing. You know what that means? We're out of here. We'll catch you tomorrow at 11 a.m. right here on the Morning Update Show. Peace. It's cold. With every voice and sing, dealer than heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. dark past has taught us sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising Sun of a new day.